Thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Tom Walsop. Today I'm gonna to show you four ways of improving your forehand follow through and ultimately improving the shape of your overall swing. Now what we're looking to do is be able to rotate the arm and the racket efficiently, effortlessly around your body. It's gonna help you to hit a more controlled shot, but it's also gonna give you more racket speed if that's what you're looking for. Now the first follow through I want to show you is finishing with the back of the racket next to your head. Now I don't exclusively use this with beginners, but certainly with beginners, this is my go-to follow through. And I feel like once you can get the back of the racket next to the head there, the swing shape is pretty good. Now a lot of people will prefer to finish the follow through here rather than up here. So if you're someone who likes to swing and finish a little bit lower, this is pretty much where I finish most of the time. Then it's the same concept, back of the racket next to the arm as opposed to back of the racket next to the head. But another way of thinking about this is when you finish the shot, try to create a box. You see how this has created a square with my upper arm, lower arm, racket, and my chest. So I've created a box here. Now, if you can finish with this box and it's kind of facing the camera, it's not fully down court, even though I could try to get it there. Usually it's gonna, the body's gonna rotate a little bit more around so that that box ends up pointing at a 45 degree angle this way. Now the beauty of this is not only do you get the back of the racket next to the arm, which rotates the arm pretty efficiently, it gets you to bend the elbow at the right time. So by creating that box, we get to bend that elbow, which allows you to bring that racket head through a little bit quicker. I think this box is really useful for players who keep their arm straight and just rotate the wrist. You wanna feel like you are bending your arm to rotate it rotate the racket around your body so really big fan of the box it's a little bit awkward and structured but do it for a few minutes get the feel and then just kind of relax it it's not going to look exactly like a box but if you watch me hitting this shot right here you can see i'm pretty much finishing in that box position at the end of my forehand Now my third tip to help you with your follow through is trying to get the butt cap of the racket facing your opponent. Now what's great about this is it can start to give you a little bit more racket speed because what I'll generally tell people is see how quickly you can get the butt cap facing your opponent. Now I don't mean really fast as in you're trying to swing it fast, but how early in the swing can you do it? Because the quicker you can get it there, the more you'll be rotating the arm through the shot. Because what a lot of people do is this, right? And the butt cap's facing the wrong direction, and then they'll rotate it here. So if you try to rotate it a little bit earlier, get the butt cap out, that will give you that pronation you're looking for, but also that racket speed to whip the racket head through a little bit quicker. My last tip is to imagine you have a wristwatch on your right wrist and you can tell the time after you've hit the shot. So a lot of people will be in this position where the back of their hand is facing their opponent, not a very efficient way of moving the racket. So finish here, tell the time, and it's not gonna be the most natural thing because you have to stop a little bit abruptly to be able to see the back of your hand. Usually you wanna follow through just a little bit further but this is a great way of figuring out how to rotate the arm. And again, you're gonna move the racket head a lot quicker if you can rotate the arm a little bit earlier through the swing. Now, the further you go around the racket to semi-western, maybe even to western, the more important it is to rotate the arm through the shot. If you have a semi-western and you just push it, it's not gonna be a very pretty stroke. You can get away with that with continents. You don't need a whole lot of arm rotation. But again, for players who are semi-Western or moving towards Western, 
It's very important that the arm rotates. So the box would work great or the wristwatch would work great. Anything to really get that arm rotating through the shot. So you can play around with all those four. The semi-Western players may want to choose the box or the wristwatch, the more traditional, old-school, continental, eastern swings may feel like the back of the racket next to the head or the butt cap of the racket out may be right for you. But play around with all four. Let me know how it goes. Talk to you soon. If you like that video, you're definitely going to like this video right here. Go check that out. Or you can visit the playlist. There's a lot of content in there that's going to help you with your forehand and ultimately with your game.